Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking all about the Huda Beauty, the rose gold palette. Also, I've got some of her liquid matte lipstick and the lashes. Huda Beauty. I'm gonna let you know about the product first. I'm gonna give you swatches, brush swatches for the palette, lip swatches for the liquid mattes. I'm gonna show you the lashes which I'm wearing today, obviously. And um, then I come back and share my final thoughts as usual as I do in my video. Let's start with this palette. The packaging looks like that. It's the Huda Beauty Texture Shadows Palette Rose Gold Edition. I've managed to do that um, a kind of like rose gold eye. I'm starting with Shy. That looks like that. Just on the crease. I'm moving to Bossy here. Try to blend. And then I'm moving to Flamingo. I'm trying to use as many shades as possible. Then I'm going with my finger in that rose gold here, right? That angelic here. But a little bit on top of there. Man Eater and Flamingo on the lower lash as well. A little bit of that bossy here. Under the brow I'm gonna go with Bay. For the inner corner I'm gonna go with Moon Dust some lashes mascara and this is the final look that uh, i came up with i hope you like it the palette looks like that from outside this is like the huda signature look um it's her eyes and she does that also to her lashes as well and this is a sleeve actually and you get um a palette that looks like that it's like a cardboard packaging, kind of like reminds me of a zip palette. It has a magnetic kind of like closure. 18 colors, not bad. Oh, you get mattes, you get pearlized, and you get those 3D metal texture eyeshadows, as she calls them. So get uh, that, it gives you uh, a little bit more information about the palette. It tells you about the color and gives you some swatches and it tells you what it is its color and how to apply it get this card here which i thought it was really nice um it says here like a handwritten note hey gorgeous thank you so much for shopping at huda beauty we appreciate your support and hope you uh feel gorgeous using our products love huda and these actually are stickers that you can take as a pose and use them here or wherever you want to use them. I really love attention to detail and also handwritten notes like that. Talk free and buildable are highly pigmented mattes, chrome uh, pressed pearls and 3D metal eyeshadows delivered maximum payoff for easy on the go or came to slay metallic and smoky looks. This palette, guys, retails for 65 USD dollars. It's made in Italy and um, it tells you the ingredients here on the back. Now, let's start with the swatches. I'm gonna swatch that first row here from here to here sandalwood, henna, man era, cocoa, suede, and black truffle. And some of those, for example, um, I'm gonna swatch them with a uh, a brush as well. Let's see the henna, cocoa, the second row from here to here, moon dust, 
bay, shy, flamingo, bossy, and hashtag blessed. And say for example, moon dust, I'm gonna put a little bit with a brush. We'll put the flamingo, the pinkish one. Oh, that's pretty good. The bossy. That's not bad. The texture one, the blessed. Um, I'm going to use a flat brush like that, the synthetic one. But I wouldn't really swatch it, to be honest, with that. Because she recommends to do it with your finger. Let's see. Oh, it's not bad. The last row from here to here, all the texture eyeshadows and the pearl one. Angelic, and we have Trust Funds, Rose Gold, 24K, Fling, and Dubai. Beautiful color, the Angelic. The Trust Fund. Mm, not much happening with the brush or I'm gonna get say the flink which is this that's better just to give you an idea how some shades perform with the brush and with your finger the packaging looks like that it's um quite pretty cheap um i would say packaging it's cardboard and um, i would prefer personally to have um that kind of like front get 10 matte eyeshadows this here and this here and also you get uh, two uh, like a uh, pearl eyeshadows these two here and you get six of these uh 3d metals texture eyeshadows now let's start with the matte eyeshadows these four here and these six you have a variety of colors you have like a brow bone you have like a a bit of a like transition colors here you have a black which um i really like always to be a black you have a brown you have pop of colors they do perform well but some of them i found them a bit patchy like this shy here when i put it on uh, on my lids it went a little bit patchy i would say also this bay it doesn't have extreme color payoff you need to build it up the black also the black truffle it's not as intense black as i want it to be they did blend well at um at the end and i managed to uh to make um a beautiful look um as you saw are these the best mats i have ever used no the best mats i have ever used is the uh, wizard ones or the cat von d the shade and light eye are also really good not as good as the wizard but they're really good uh these ones they're not as bad but they're not the best most pigmented mats out there a little bit more work these three last shades are amazing and also these coco too they're not bad but they're not like say the most easy blendable mats in the world i'll paralyze the ones the angelic and the moon dust uh, these both guys are beautiful colors angelic is like kind of like a rose gold as you saw i just put it on my inner corners that rose gold it's beautiful and also the moon dust is beautiful like paralyzed uh, simmer too these they perform really beautiful they're pigmented enough and they have beautiful color payoff either you use your fingertip or the brush let's go to the 3d metals the texture eyeshadows like those according to huda this is like a, a unique formula of the eyeshadows it's kind of like pressed pigments and they apply better as you shop for perma swatches with your fingertip instead of a brush they are very very like a gritty they're soft but kind of like gritty and a little bit messy they're beautiful colors i really love the color selection but i think bear in mind that um you probably will, you will go through pretty quick on, on, on these colors because um, even if you are very careful like when you press your finger in there you will probably get a lot more product that you intend to if you know what I mean and they are quite messy if you have long nails 
I don't think you will enjoy this because obviously, as you saw with a synthetic brush, they don't apply as well. So you're not going to get the color payoff. I suppose though, if you spritz your brush with fixed blast and you keep patting on and on and on, you may get like similar color. It's more advisable to apply it with your fingertip and that's how they perform to the maximum. It's not that you find out that after you use it, Huda tells you that it's um, better to apply those with your fingertips so you kind of like know what, you, what you're going into. Is this an issue for me about the texture eyes shadows? No, because I have short fingernails. If I had long fingernails, probably it would be. Maybe I wouldn't purchase it. I don't know. I like these colors. Um, I think you have the variety of colors. Um, the matte eyeshadows are okay. Some are really nice. These two are really beautiful pearl ones. The texture eyeshadows, they do perform well, but only with applying with your fingertip. And bear in mind that um, they're very soft, they're textured, and you may use a lot of product and also it can be quite messy. All in all, uh, do I think that co that this palette is worth uh, 65 USD dollars? Probably not for 65 USD dollars, to be honest, because um, yeah, the shades are beautiful. Uh, the packaging though, it's like very, you know, quite cheap, I would say. You do get though a lot of colors. You get 80 nice shadows here and you can create a lot of looks. I don't know if it's worth it $65 if I would pay that plus postage because the postage to Australia, it's astronomical. It's over 30 USD dollars. I don't remember exactly, but I will put it here. But I did enjoy it. Um, did I regret it that I purchased it? No, because I can make this palette work. I can definitely make this palette work. But um, bear in mind these um, issues, the pros and cons that I mentioned before, and if this palette actually will work for you for every day. Would I recommend to somebody else? For beginners, probably not, but for someone who is into makeup and likes kind, kind sort of like a new innovative things and has short nails yes now the liquid mattes i have three colors here of the liquid lipsticks they're the liquid mattes and first let's start with the swatches and then i'll come back and share my thoughts video star video star cheerleader Cheerleader Heartbreaker Heartbreaker Now the packaging looks like that guys and I really like it's beautiful I and mean, I have you know nothing to say and um, it says apply a thin even coat of liquid matte allowing approximately 30 seconds to dry the color deepens when set leaving a transfer free finish those are made in italy as well they come in 16 colors and they retail for 20 usd dollars it's in a frosted bottle it has like a, a dog foot applicator and for me it smells something between cake and sunscreen my husband said it smelled like bubblegum. It doesn't stay long and it's not overpowering. I have mine in three colors. This is Video Star, which is like um, a fuchsia color. Cheerleader. I would say a brownie red color, more like a kind of like nudie brownie red color. And then the last one I've got is the Heartbreaker. Now Video Star cheerleader and heartbreaker the packaging is pretty beautiful pretty cool um i really enjoyed them um i thought um 20 dollars of course it's a little bit overpriced but uh, the colors are beautiful they do stay a long time i wouldn't say it's transfer free because after like um maybe an hour and a half after i had the the liquid mats on and i've done like a, a kiss test it had a slightly bit of a transfer and that happened with the video star and the heartbreaker the cheerleader i haven't noticed but i don't know why they did layer well i, I like them i'm not like a huge liquid lipstick lover i've tried the cat von d so far i've tried the anastasia beverly hills 
and the Kylie lip kit, which I'm wearing today in Posy K, if you're wondering. And um, I do like them. I mean, it's not something that I would wear every day because I have very dry lips. They were comfortable on the lips. They were kind of like that formula that it's very, it's more like liquidy. Couple of shades, I did not see a little bit of a transfer. For me, that's not an issue. Uh, if it is for you, bear that in mind. They do layer well. They, they're okay, as per me. Do they worth $20? Probably not. Uh, one thing I find with the Huda prices, I don't know if I can justify the price of 20 USD dollars plus, as I said, the extravagant shipping prices uh, for, I mean, a brand that it's not extremely known. Uh, yeah, I can understand the ingredients is beautiful, the package is beautiful, the formula is beautiful, but maybe, I don't know, $20, it's a little bit too much for me, if you know what I mean. That's what I think. Last but not least, the lashes Ooh. these are the samantha lashes the lashes i'm wearing them today i got the samantha and i love the packaging that looks like that they're one of the um not as intense lashes and for me i don't really wear lashes like every day i wear them in very rare occasions as you saw so for me those are too big as well they retail for 20 usd dollars as well and uh you can use them um i suppose several times when you get the lashes you get that brochure here that it tells you the instructions how to use them which is great and what I've noticed with these lashes, guys, they are very comfortable. They're fairly easy to use. They are made in Indonesia, made of natural fibers. These cruelty-free lashes are lightweight, making them perfect for a supernatural look and all-day comfort. Uh, designed by Lash Guru Huda Katan to be the most beautiful lashes you will ever wear. Lashes can be used multiple times depending on care. I need to trim them uh, on the edge about like um, maybe like that much, like three probably. And they do have like a little bit of a thicker band. Um, so you need to wiggle it before you apply it. But all in all, they look beautiful. For me, they are dramatic um, because I don't wear lashes every day. I wear them very, very occasionally. And I wouldn't go for more drama than this, but they feel very comfortable uh, and they look really beautiful. If you, you, you can wear them many, many times, it's, it's worth the price. But bear in mind that the band is a little bit on the thicker side if it's something that you don't want. Other than that, they feel comfortable, they look great, and I'm very happy that I purchased the Samantha. That's all. These were all my thoughts about the Huda Beauty items. The rose gold texturized palette, the liquid mattes, and the lashes i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do you know what to do thumbs up subscribe and let me know what you think can't wait to hear other people's opinions because we're all different you know i hope you like this video thank you so so much for watching and until next time mwah!